what's up guys just chilling back in the truck still at Stratford on a Sunday afternoon we had some rain overnight but the sun has just come out and it's glorious again the show's been epic in the evening the music by the bar all the people coming in saying hello it's been phenomenal overwhelmed by all the great comments you guys have uh, given and all the love you've shown really appreciate that guys uh, as you know I'm new to this so uh, sincerely mean it from my heart I uh, I honestly appreciate that I'm gonna have a quick tour of the field that I'm in um, just to show you what's around I haven't had much time to to walk around to be fair um, just been showing people around the van and uh, people recognizing me it's just crazy I'm, like I said I'm new to this and uh, overwhelming uh, you've seen me on uh, Steve and Lindsay channel Roaming Redfords and the lovely girls at Camper Vibe those guys have uh, how can I say just uh, <laughs> show me uh, a side of uh, this van life that's new to me so appreciate all the love. I'll show you around this field that I'm in in a moment. Thank you. Absolute awesome type two Luton Camper. Absolute loving this song. Hi going? guys, how are we doing? Loving the van. Yeah, cheers, mate. Absolutely smashing it. That's killer that is. Motor lighter steering wheel. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. It's the only way. Oh, he's only got the original Pepsi drinks cooler as well. Yeah, just to blend in. Don't work very well though. Not like modern technology. Is this guy uber cool or what? Can have I just... Nose, have a nose in if you want. Thank you, my friend. Awesome. We dub cushion. Yeah, someone handmade it for us. It looks like the front of the van. <laughs> Like I said, this guy's smashing it. It wasn't always this nice. It was a rust, well, a rotten mushroom filled stinky van when we brought it. Took a lot of work to get it yeah, out. Of course it, yeah, I'm sure. And, uh, I love it. Wouldn't change it for the world. Fantastic. Old school, like you said, old school is the only way. Yeah, it's not, I don't know, just like it. I like, I like thinking, you know, it's, it's got all the mod cons in it, even though it's old. Got a shower, hot That's water, and perfect. heating. Yeah, yeah. It just everything needed rebuilding and redoing and it's all the original equipment just yeah. took it apart reassembled it and made it work again but it's super rare being a, a Luton type 2 that's it and it's a genuine Carmen one as well so it's oh, a right. German built one okay um, so there's not a great deal of them out there no and to find one in the first state was good the fact that it was falling apart and all the timber was rotten I was like no I don't care it needs it needs resurrecting yeah and that's what I did just spent a couple of years and Got it to a state that it's lovely inside and habitable, but I want to keep the outside looking a bit patina. Yeah, a bit, a bit showing its age. Yeah. But at the same time, you know, it was the wife's idea really to go with a mustard yellow because we had no 
idea what it was meant to be like in here really. Okay. Just a few pictures. But he had a red ceiling, orange walls, purple, okay. pink, yellow cushions, a lizard on the floor. It was awful. But a couple of years, a bit of time, a bit of money. Yeah, bit of love. That's it. That's what, that's what it needed. Yeah, that, yeah. And the best thing is I loved doing it. I loved bringing it back. I felt like I was doing it a justice. Yeah, absolutely. And the fact that it's usable. You know, and we do this use table, it. Guys. Yeah. Well, this is the other thing. It's like that was an old cards table. And we're like, we needed a table, yeah. Beautiful. We did, I, I've got a thing, I don't like round tables. Right. And it had a big oval table, but you couldn't get round it. You know, it's like you go on Marketplace, you find something, you can go, oh, I'll reuse that. Octagon table. It's like there's a little fold up table at the side of the cupboard there by the bin. <laughs> and that was an old 70s style coffee table. And we just hinged it so it lifts up and makes more <laughs> work on. And it's tiled so you can put hot pans on it. Yeah, perfect. And it's just making something. Different, that's different. Look at that steering wheel. Old school motor lighter, can't beat it. You had a good weekend? Yeah, awesome. Absolutely awesome. It's good, isn't it? First time I've done this show. We came in June. Yeah, but, but I wasn't displaying the band then. Well, the first time yeah. someone said on the internet, oh, go out. I was like, oh, yeah, I'll go and have a look, and I love it. Yeah. It's nice to see loads of different vehicles, see all the self built stuff, and the over. Just see loads of crazy yeah, yeah. different things. Yeah. No. I used to do a lot of just normal Volkswagen shows, but you see a lot of the same stuff, sure. which is great, but it's nice when you see something different. You can pinch ideas, can't you? That's yeah, yeah. Like, oh, I like that. It's all about showing. It is. It is. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Excellent. What's your name? Stuart. Stuart, with his immaculate Type 2 Luton Carmen camper. Absolutely awesome. It's killing it, guys. Killing it. I'm well, moving on. More V-dubs. Paintwork on this guy is absolutely amazing. Check that out. Have some of that. low riders guys with these wheels Bentley wheels on a T5 T6 there'll be many of those around always always phantom wheels absolutely smashing it as far as the eye can see here. Dodge van there. Look in the distance. Vans, self built camper vans, caravans, as far as I can see. National Camper Van and Adventure Overland Show. Awesome, the guys uh, organised it, Damo and Tom. Absolutely amazing event you guys put on. Smashed it out of the park, guys. Put it on your calendar for next year. It's the show not to be missed.